Okay, guys, what you're fixing to see here is a very poorly done video. Um, when the the deputy hopped out of the car, I mean, I immediately went into a PSD, PTSD incident. Um, I, I literally could not talk. Um, I was trying to get my head together and, and get focused, and I just could not do it. Uh, I even started talking in German. I speak a little German. Uh, I lived in Germany for a few years, and uh, man, I don't know. Uh, it, it took me a minute to get my mind in gear. Uh, but even throughout the entire incident, there was a deputy with his hand on his gun, and I, I just could not focus. But, uh, uh, you know, in the end, I was so frustrated with myself that I, I just turned the cameras off. I gave the sergeant a business card and uh, I walked away, went and recorded a, a little bit more and then I left. Uh, sorry for the poor video quality and uh, all that. Um, however, I, I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, set this up and, and put it up for you guys to see um, for a number of reasons. Number one, it shows uh, th the mentality of a lot of the deputies in Montgomery County. Uh, the gentlemen that you're going to see in this video were SWAT officers. Uh, you would expect them to be trained in de-escalation and, you know, uh, you, you would just expect them to be the best of the best. Um, the first three deputies that, that appear in this video weren't. Uh, they did everything they could to escalate the situation, repeatedly called me a liar. Um, you know, they were just trying to provoke something. Uh, even though I was breaking no law, I had done nothing wrong, I was cooperative, they, you know, they wanted an incident. And uh, that's unacceptable. Now, there was a sergeant that showed up, um, and he did fine. He, he really rescued this agency because they were headed for a bad place. This whole situation was headed to a bad place. Um, so I'm going to, you guys get to watch it. Uh, I, again, I apologize for the poor video quality um, and and for my lack of ability to focus and, and, and do what really needed to be done here. Um, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you guys, uh, there's a lot of veterans out there that, that have issues with PTSD and guys, you know, if you got something going on, get help. There's 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 hotlines for us. There's uh, the VA. Um, there's support groups. You know, hell, if you got nothing else, get, reach out to me. You know, I mean that. Um, there there's help. Um, at one time, I actually took medication for this. I don't anymore because I haven't had trouble with it. Uh, I've learned to manage it. Um, but, uh, this whole thing with Harris County really is, is got it going again. Um, and that started like from the very beginning when, uh, Deputy Ibarra jumped out on me there at Shell with his hand on his gun, uh, that triggered something, I mean, instantly. So, man, I just don't know, but, uh, we're getting off onto another track and I don't want to go there. So here's the deal. Uh, videos here look it over and uh, you know it is what it is so uh, I'll be seeing you guys again soon Everything okay yes everything's fine you're recording our office over there is there a reason why you're recording it nine what's that nine nine what you guys an idea on you sir Are you ready? Uh, uh, Are you ready? One moment. Uh, Sprechen Sie Deutsch? No. Nope. Um, you have an ID? Nine. ID? Identification? Yes. Nine. No, you don't have one? Namen? You speak English, I know you do. You have an ID on you, sir? I choose not to speak English. Okay, well, do you have an ID? You're recording uh, our building there, and I want to know why you're recording it. 
Uh, for my purpose? For a purpose? What kind of purpose is that? For my use. For your, for what now? For my use. What, for use for what? Whatever I want to use it for. Really? Yes, sir. It's kind of a sensitive area there for us. Which area is that? The area that you're recording over there. Let me see your ID. What, which area? I'm, I'm not clear on which area. The area that about. you stopped by the tree and you're recording that building over there. That area. The forensics building right over there? Yeah, everything. You're recording the whole building. So I, I'd like to I, know why you're recording it. It's kind of a sensitive area. Security purposes. Uh huh. So you have an ID on you? Uh, what's your name? Deputy Pena. Deputy Pena, you don't Sorry. mind if I if I video record? You're recording on your phone, so that's okay. I, I, I'm well, actually, I just put that away, but okay. I want to make sure this is running okay. because uh, uh, I told you my I, name. I, yes, so sir, you did. I, I'm just not liking the direction this is taken. Well, I, told, I told you my name. Now tell me your name. I, I don't wish to give that information. You don't wish to give I, that information. I haven't done anything wrong. I mean, it's it's all I did was take pictures of the front of the building. But, but why though? But I want to know why. For, it's a sensitive area. For my use, the front of the building is a sensitive area. Yeah, I didn't take any pictures of the back stuff. Area, sensitive area. Use for what? For my for my personal use. For what personal use is that? Uh, whatever I want to use it for. And what is that though? W whatever I want to use it for. Okay. Do you have an idea on you? I do, but I don't think I'm required to give it if I haven't done anything wrong. I don't think I've done anything wrong. No, but I mean, I'd like to know what you're recording over here. I was recording the front of the building. For uh, what use though? For what purpose? For. Okay, let, let, let's start over again, all right? I recorded the front of that building. I also recorded the front of this building. Yeah, our, our dispatch center. Yes, right. I recorded those for my use. Use for what? For whatever I want to use them for. Okay, that that doesn't make sense. Um, I think it does make sense. It, it makes sense make to sense. me. It doesn't make sense. I, I'm sorry, it makes sense to me. You were being deceitful to begin with. I, I came out and I asked you for an idea what you were doing, and you tried to play, play me for a fool, pretending you spoke... You spoke, uh... I do speak German. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, you're... I don't have to speak. I don't have to stand here and speak English if I don't want to. You're I can right, speak German. Right. Okay. I'm not being deceitful. I'm you're trying to being... assess... No, you're sir. I'm trying to assess deceitful. what you're doing. You're being deceitful. Oh. What's your name? Bruce Stewart. Your name, please? Right. Oh. What was your I... name again? So I haven't given we've, my name. We've told you our name. What's your name? I, I don't wish to give that information. Hmm. I mean, I, really, I'd just like to where, finish what I'm doing. At? I'm sorry? Where's your vehicle at? Vehicle? Yeah, how'd you get here? I fell out of the sky. Okay, well, it's time for you to go then. <laughs> if you don't I, want to I'm going down you know, here. I'm no, going. This is, a, this is a sensitive area down here. You can't just be roaming around. It's public. It's public. There's public sidewalk. There's public utilities. I'm not on your property. I'm on public property. You're recording sir. our property. Yes, sir, I am. Okay, so it's time for you to go. I'm going to go down here. Can we get a supervisor? How about that? Let's get a supervisor, please. Why don't you give me your, your name? I'll get a supervisor. Because you're obviously meeting the people. I'm not being deceitful. Yes, you are. I have, sir, I've been completely, I have like been completely times. honest with really? you. Really? Completely honest with really? you. Really? You, you don't speak English. I do speak English. You I told you I spoke me. English. After I told you I know you speak English. No, you didn't know anything. I, okay. I said I do you're, speak you're English. Right. I don't know anything. You're right. You do, you're, you're assuming. You're, I do speak English. Okay. I chose not to speak English. And then rather than put you through all that, I decided to go back to English. Take your hand on your pocket for me. Oh, yes, sir. Look, there's nothing in the pocket. Okay. Well, it's for okay. My safety, okay. Well, you got your hand in your pocket. I mean, you're the one with the gun, not me. Okay. Well, my gun's over uh, here, if, so. if it'll make you feel better, if one of you want to pat me down, I'll gladly I'll allow you. Allow you. It won't make you feel yeah, okay. Go ahead. Have that. Have that. I have no weapons on me. I don't even have a pocket knife. There's nothing. Okay. Your phone in my front pocket. Okay. That's it. All right. All right. We satisfied? I am satisfied. Okay, because I don't want to get shot, tased, or anything did stupid I like that. Shoot you? My hand's cold. That's did the only I, reason I put it in my pocket, did I okay? Did I shoot you? No, you I, haven't. I just... Have I even reached for my weapon? No, you haven't. Okay. No, you haven't. This guy, okay. he's a little nervous, I can see, but... No, he's not nervous. But, he's, but, he's just uh, for, for my safety. Okay, well, okay. Uh, I'm more concerned with my safety because you guys are the ones with the guns, okay? Well, we're police officers, so that's what we do in Texas. Police officers carry guns. Okay. okay. I understand. So what, what business do you have here in this area? I'm taking pictures. Of what and for what? I'm taking pictures of just the, the criminal justice complex and okay. for my use. For what? For what purpose? For my use. You know, you know, there's a lot of stuff with terrorism going around. People take videos. you got to understand that, correct? Where we come from? Uh -huh. When you come and you report where we work, uh -huh. where people, it's a sensitive area. It's a high risk area. we got to be careful, make sure that somebody's not using it for terrorism. Okay. The reason there's controlled access everywhere, and you're videotaping everything that has controlled access. That's why you gotta understand it makes people like us nervous. When we work here, these are our co-workers. This is the place where we work. This is a sensitive area right here. 
There's controlled access, there's the gate, there's a reason for that. Okay, but and I haven't gone into any of the controlled that? access areas. You were. You did that earlier no. has controlled access over there. I wasn't in it. Yes, well, you were recording it. I did record it. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not denying, I'm not being deceitful, well, I'm right telling you the that. truth. You I'm telling you. being deceitful because you won't tell me your name. You know, at all times I have the right to invoke the, the, the fifth, okay? Part of invoking the fifth means that I don't have to give you my name. Okay, so this would be a lot easier if you just call a supervisor. You don't want to call a supervisor? Give me your name and I'll call a supervisor. What am I going to tell him? Okay, I have a guy okay. over here who's not identifying himself. Okay, okay. Am I being detained? Uh, we're talking right now. Uh, that's consensual contact. Am I no, being detained? No, you're not. Okay, I'm going to go on about my business. And, and Make just sure you go about your business. I'm, I'm going about my business down the street and I'm going to continue to record whatever it is I'm recording. There you go. Okay. Y'all gonna have him stop? He's stopping. Okay. <laughs> I like that guy. He saw me with the camera and he waved. That was funny. At least he has a sense of humor. I mean, you guys are all glum and stuff. So you're being you're being deceitful. I'm, I'm not being deceitful. Okay, I asked you, what are you recording for, for your personal use? Well, when people That's tell what me it's... that, it raises red flags. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm... And you're wearing uh, all right, an ACU right, right. shirt, what does that tell me? It's cold outside. He's wearing a jacket that's not ACU. Uh, it was just what I grabbed to put on. That's all. W would you please make sure that he knows I'm not armed? Well, he knows. Okay. It, it'd, be a it'd be a totally different situation if you were armed. Okay, okay. Well, he knows you're not armed. All right. And, and I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, what was your name again? Deputy Pena. Deputy Pena, okay. I, I'm just going to tell you the truth, okay? I'm a journalist, okay. and I'm doing a story about you. Okay. Make sure you spell my name right. P-E-N-A? Yes, sir. Okay. Can, can you smile for the camera? Yes, sir. You want to get a smile? Can I get a profile? Publication to you work with, sir. <laughs> okay. What publication Is, do you is he going to come up here? Or? He's coming up here. Okay. Who do you work for? Let's, let's wait until he comes up. Who do you work for, sir? Again, being deceitful. I've been totally honest with you. I gave you my name. I even spelled it for you. Deceitful means I'm lying to you. I'm not lying to you. Okay, by an omission, it's a lie. Am I, am I right? Am lying I right? by omission would be... It's the same as lying. It's not. Yeah, It is, it is the same as lying. Okay, I agree. so you're lying. Exactly. But I, I asked you what your name is. You won't tell me. I asked you what journalist uh, agency you work for. You won't tell me. So it's by omission. No, sir. You're exceeding your mandate. Okay. That's what, what you're doing. What school did you go to? I'm just curious, what law school have you been to? Can you answer that? Well, have you been to law school? 3802 says I'm not obligated to identify myself unless I've been lawfully arrested for a crime. So you I haven't committed. I haven't committed a crime. Well, I mean, you want to talk Supreme Court decisions because they have given you guys a little more latitude. If I'm lawfully detained, what not detained just because of, of whatever. What law school did you go to? I can go to any law school. What I can read. What police academy did you go to? I can read. What police academy did you read. go to? Have you been to one? No. Oh, actually, okay. I have, but you that's, have? that's something different. And what happened with that? Did you finish it? No, I spent five years working in federal law enforcement. Okay. What did agency? You uh, I'm not going to answer any more questions. How about that? All right. Are you afraid we're going to find out you're lying some more? No. These are all honest, honest questions. I mean, they are honest questions. You're asking us questions, we're asking you questions. They are honest understand. questions. I'm not faulting you for asking the questions. This situation I, makes people like us nervous. I understand we're that, too. I understand. We're reporting our controlled access area, our department. We don't know who you are. The reason why we don't defense, know what purposes you're doing. Absolutely. It's to keep people out of that right. that area right there. I understand. It raises red flags for us. Recording is not a crime. Yeah, it depends what you're recording. That's not true. It is true. That's not true. Okay. And, and you know, you guys are picking on me about my shirt, uh, but I, I mean, I'm looking you. at you guys, and you're all paramilitaried out. I, I didn't mean, pick on you. You, you were talking about my my I shirt. Did. I did. I just said, I said you're recording a sensitive area with an ACU shirt on. They raised the going, it's, it's a little better now that you're here. I hope. What okay. is your name? My name's Jason Salter. Sergeant, yes. Lieutenant. Sergeant. Okay. Uh, are you a veteran? I am a veteran. What service? I'm just curious. I uh, was the Army. I, I was Army, too. Okay. I was Army, too. Well, what, what kind of MOS? Uh, I'm not going to answer any more questions. Oh. Okay. It's I'll just getting into I'll personal information. I'm just guy. Okay. Hey, if you were infantry, you'd have told me. No, I'm, I'm not infantry. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> sorry. 
Yeah. See, he's got a sense of humor. Okay, I can appreciate that. All right. Uh, uh, no, I was better than infantry. But that's uh, okay. Roger that. Um, what can I do for you? No, I was just seeing what's going on. I just seen you guys saying that. Um, these gentlemen saw me take pictures of the front of that building over there and the corner of this building where it says Montgomery 911. Oh, okay. And they pulled up to stop me to see what I'm doing. No, oh, yeah. In this day and age, you can understand where we'd be a little nervous. People out with cameras taking pictures of a of a sensitive site. Yes, sir. So we just stop and make sure we'll see what's going on. No big deal. I mean, we know you have a right to be here. We're not jacking with you. But obviously, if you worked here, you'd be a little nervous too if somebody's there taking pictures. That's not a common occurrence. People don't come take pictures of county buildings walking around in an ACU top. You know, so that, that's the only reason, you know, we're stopping by. So, I mean, I, why would you want to take pictures of county buildings, bro? Just curious. Do you see how much better that is? I'll actually talk to him because he's been nice to me. He's not been aggressive with me, he's not been confrontational. Okay? Okay, guys, so what'd you think? I'm going to say that the Montgomery County Sheriff's Department barely, barely passed. My belief and opinion is that had the sergeant not shown up, that that would have taken a completely different um, direction, uh, which is unfortunate. unfortunate. Um, the sheriff's department in any county, these are the guardians of the Constitution. Uh, and that you saw the behavior that you saw, it's saddening. Uh, I honestly believe that uh, Deputy Pena would have taken that to the next level. It was, it was really going in that direction, I thought. So, it's a good thing the sergeant showed up when he did. Uh, was it, were it not for him, uh, there would have been some issues there. Uh, apparently, Deputy Pena has not gotten the memo. Citizens can stand on the sidewalk and take pictures. Anything I can see from the sidewalk, I can take pictures of it. And it's okay. Not everybody that's out there is a terrorist. And not everybody's a liar. You know, repeatedly, the three of you went back and forth calling me a liar. I told you the truth. The pictures I was taking was for my own use. It's none of your business what that use is. It's none of your business. That's my business. I'm glad that the Sarge showed up and uh, turned that situation around before it got too stupid. Um, that's it, guys. You'll find the appropriate phone numbers, uh, comments, concerns, compliments. Be sure and give them a holler and uh, express your opinion about uh, exactly what you saw. Thanks. And... Uh, I'll turn up again soon.